Well, IPASS stands for Integrated Planning and Advising Services. And uh, what it essentially entails is a, a suite of different uh, software tools that harnesses or leverages uh, existing data that institutions might have, whether it comes from their SIS or their ERP or even their LMS. Being able to integrate a technology solution to help with student advising, student counseling, student intervention of issues and, and problems. It's a market acceleration grant funded by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. I understand there's four areas that they're interested in developing. Progress tracking, um, student planning, um, uh, advising and counseling, as well as uh, early alert systems. The overall goal always for that technology solution was to be integrated into the institution's business practices with the ultimate goal of helping students succeed and make it all the way to completion at the institution. IPASS is such a nascent field that we don't really know that much about its effectiveness. Uh, we don't really know whether it works or not yet. And so I think it's imperative for institutions that are thinking about implementing these things to think very carefully about how they want to measure uh, the particular outcomes uh, that, that, that they're wanting to assess, but also to think about evaluating their processes as, as they go along and integrating these things. The technologies are another tool in the tool belt. Um, I am one of those people that will try anything because any one tool has a potential for reaching a group, a population that might otherwise not be reached. Um, part of the IPES grant has included some uh, change management training. Um, there is a certain disruption to the processes and business of colleges and universities uh, when they are implementing this and, and, and bringing it online. Um, I know of several instances where, um, it, uh, for, for example, in, in, in doing the uh, degree planning projects, the entire curriculum and course catalog would have to be loaded into this digital tool. And in the process of doing that, they would find all of these dead-end courses or uh, uh, things that had prerequisites when the prerequisites didn't exist anymore and, and so forth. And that led to this sort of sea change of an overhaul of the curriculum, a rethinking of, of departmental majors and so forth, and really a streamlining in many ways of, of the course offerings. So it, it ends up being a benefit on, on, on the back end, but it's something that really was not anticipated on the front end of, of, of doing this. And I think that caused a lot of consternation <laughs> and, 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 and uh, headache in the moment, but the institutions with whom I've spoken who have done that, I, I think have found that to be beneficial. And so just as you hear about change management, you know, find those informal leaders in the institution who can be those champions. That's what we did, is we sort of found these folks um, that, that were liking it, that were jumping in and using it, and then we got them to talk throughout the institution. Talk about your experience with this. Yeah, I've made some great friends through the IPASS crowd, and just to hear about what's going on, what other people are doing, has actually made me feel pretty good about what we're doing. So it's given me a little bit of confidence and reinforcement there. Um, that said, I, I, I think there's a lot of promise here for institutions that are especially struggling with ways to reach out and to connect with their students and to really uh, provide them with um, the broadest degree of, of, of student support services that, that they can. Certainly it is, as all projects are, it's kind of a complicated process with lots of moving pieces. Get the buy-in up front from a, a broad committee and, and educate them as to why the change is necessary, what the change is going to do, what's needed from stakeholders. Once you sort of compartmentalize the technology integration piece, the other side of it is to just really think about those business practices at the institution and the ways that having this tool can positively impact those business processes. We're seeing that it's worth it. We are seeing good results in our data, good usage saturation across the college, and I think that that's only going to improve. So it's been very worthwhile for us.